Hey beauties, thank you so much for tuning in today. I wanted to go ahead and do a really quick video just about some products that I've tested out recently that I have absolutely loved, been blown away by, have really started to um, develop a true uh, infatuation with, if you will. Uh, it's something that I wanna do monthly, but I'm very bad about doing it monthly. So we're kind of doing it like seasonally or like whenever I have products that I wanna talk about more or less. I don't know if we can quite call the summer cause I think we did one in like June or maybe it was May, I don't know. We'll call this the summer, fall, August top pick products. It's something, it's products that I like that I think you guys should be aware of. So let's talk about those. Most of them are skincare actually, cause I've been doing a ton of skincare right recently. So I've got a lot of skincare and then a couple makeup items that I really have um, developed a deep love of, but we'll kind of focus on the skincare first because those are the ones I really want you guys to be aware of. Uh, really quickly, if you haven't subscribed, do that. Join our family, join the Dark Angel family. We love you and we would like you to love us back. So like not seeming desperate, but please. Okay, done, done with that, moving on. So the first thing is literally my new favorite product. I'm so freaking blown away by how well this worked. And it's pissed me off because it's been sitting in my collection for like months and I just haven't used it. And then I was like, ah, I know I have those. I'm gonna go find them and I'm gonna use it because I had this huge pimple, it's right here. And now he's just an open wound because I can't not pick pimples. But he was just this giant pimple and, and I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup because I, I I'm not going anywhere. And then when I go into work, it's in the middle of the night, so whatever. And then I have a mask on and I don't want the extra gunk under the mask, which is already causing me issues. Mask knee is a real issue, okay? It's a real, real, real problem. So um, so I came home from work and I actually had worn makeup. I just had done makeup to, you know, make myself feel like human for five seconds. So I did makeup and I went into work and, and under my mask, I guess I had uh, just this little guy who just got real, real angry real fast. So I came home and I showered and I didn't have any makeup on and my cheek was like throb, like painfully throbbing, hurting. And I was like, it's gonna be a bad pimple. So I went and I, f I dug these out cause I knew I'd gotten them and I hadn't tried them yet. And I was like, let's see if they work. They are the Starface stickers. I swear to God, they're stickers. You get little packets of them and it comes in like a little sheet. And they're like little star stickers. That's what they are. And each one of these is, I was reading about the product cause I went on their website and looked it up. I think full price they're like $18 or something like that. Well worth it, buy it. I highly recommend it. I did not think these were gonna work that well. They are supposed to absorb any oils or dirt or bacteria that are in your infected area. And then it's also a sticker and it's a sticker like that really sticks onto your skin. Like it becomes another second skin. I knew it was there, but it didn't pull my skin. Like it didn't feel like there was like something weird and cardboardy on my skin. I, I kind of forgot it was there. And then I like occasionally I would like go to like scratch my face or something. I'd be like, oh yeah, there's a little sticker there. It really fits like one of those adhesive band-aids that, that molds to your skin that you kind of forget is there. This was going to be a bad pimple. This was gonna be one of those pimples that was there for like two weeks. By the time I took it off, I took, I put it on after I got home from work and showered. I left it on all day. I went to sleep for a couple hours before I went into work and I pulled it off before I went into work. Truthfully, I probably should have left it on um, under my mask to go into work, but I was just like, whatever, it's been on for like, you know, probably about 12 hours, so I'll take it off. So I pulled it off and it, the, the little sticker itself I could see was raised where it had absorbed oils and my skin just hurt less. In fact, where it hurt was more because I had picked it a little bit before I I um, put on the, the patch. So it was more of that it hurt because it was an open wound, but it, there was really no oil or pus left in my my pimple. And I was, I was floored by it. In fact, I went downstairs and I told my parents like, Y'all, next time you get a pimple and you feel like it's gonna be a bad one, you gotta let me know because I want you guys to try this too because it's just so freaking cool. So highly recommended. Did not expect it to work as well as it did. Blown away by it. And I think I got like 30 in this pack. So like highly recommend. Definitely go check it out. Like I said, it's Starface. This is a starface.world down here. I don't, I don't know. I just looked up Starface. Actually, I went to my Ipsy, my past Ipsy and I found the month that I got it in and then I like just Googled that. But the, this is, what he, this is what he looks like. He makes your face happier. He made my face happier. So yeah, so there was a lot of talking about that one product, but that's because that was literally the product that was like, I have to do a video to talk about this product. So now I've done it. Go team. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is Tula, Tula Skincare, which is apparently Sean Johnson, the Olympian. It's her skincare line. I had no freaking clue. 
but I think I got these in like kits, like free gifts from Ulta. If not, I, they came in an Ipsy or BoxyCharm, but I, I think they were free gifts from Ulta. I don't know. I get, I buy so much. It's hard to keep track, to be honest. Not a good thing. Not, a, no, I'm not proud of that, but here we are. Um, so I've got the Tula Get It Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. I use it every day now. In fact, on top of my pimple, I put a little bit on because it really goes in there and like depuff stuff. So after like a day after I'd used the um, the sticker and it was still kind of a little bit in pain, more from the open wound than from like the fact that there was still gunk under it. I put just a little bit on there and it, it took away the rest of the swelling. So should I have done that? Probably not, but you know, it, it worked. Um, but I use it under my eyes every day now. I love it. Um, my allergies are really bad. I, I talked about it in another video. Like at this point, they're not even seasonal allergies. They're year round. So I'm just allergic to life, I guess. But yeah, so I got the, um, the eye balm and I've used that almost every day. And I also have the Get Toned Pro Glycolic 10% Resurfacing Toner. I've only used this one a couple times, but I really like it as well. Very lightweight. Um, it goes in there. I like to do it after I've like done a, um, some sort of like a, pore scrubbing cleanser, like one with, um, I can't think of the word, but you guys know what I'm talking about. You know what, you know what I'm talking about, you know. Um, but I really like it. It kind of gives it like a nice little cool toned afterwards. And yeah, so I want to check more stuff out from Tula because I was just blown away by how much I like these. All right, we got two more uh, skincare products. I'm gonna talk about these together. They're different companies, but they're both peel off masks that do totally different things. So the first one is the Hey Honey Takeaway, the Drama Youth Boosting Honey and Copper Peel Off Mask. It exfoliates to lift away impurities and they say drama. I, don't, I, I guess I didn't have that much drama really. I mean, I've got, I got other stuff, but I just don't really talk to people a lot. So I guess I don't have a lot of that kind of drama, but it takes away your drama anyway. Yeah, so I did this, was just having like a little bit of like weird acne stuff in different areas. And I, um, the other night we sat and we watched all the toy stories and I was like, I'm gonna put this on and let it sit through the entire third movie. So the entire third movie, I let this guy sit on my face. It's really pretty, like super coppery. Kind of reminds me of the pure uh, Barbie mask, the peel away Barbie mask where it's like really pink. It's, it's that kind of like same like glittery effect, but it's in gold. Then when I went to rip it off, I swear to God, it, if there was any drama in me, it was pulling it out. I could feel parts of my soul coming out. Like it was like an exorcism. I was, I cried a little bit. It, it was one of those peel off masks that you're like, I really don't want to have to peel this off, but we're, it's on my skin and it's got to come off. So we got to do this. Um, so it will hurt you. Yes, it will absolutely hurt you. But I really feel like it did wonders for my skin afterwards. And I just went in with like, after I did the mask, I did a sheet mask over it actually, like one that was supposed to um, to reduce redness and, and cool everything down. And so I kind of went in there and like rehydrated all this stuff that all the impurities that I pulled out, I went like, like. So yeah, so I, I did a sheet mask over it just to kind of give it a little bit more um, nutrients after going in and doing that harsh thing on it. But this is definitely, if you're looking for a nice peel off mask that, I mean, while it was harsh, it didn't, I didn't feel like it's like, I've seen some that are real rough and, and I didn't feel like this was a bad one. I felt like my skin looked really pretty afterwards. So yeah, I like that one a lot. The next one is the Pure Lee Watermelon Energizing Marshmallow Peel Off Mask that I got in my AIA Beauty Bundle Box. This is the wildest peel off mask I've ever used. It feels like marshmallow. It's a completely different, like kind of almost foamy, airy feel to it. And then when you go to pull it off, it doesn't hurt at all. It just kind of glides right off. And I really felt like it did a great job of brightening. Like that was the, I didn't feel like my pores were necessarily like cleaned out. Like not the way that I did with this guy who like, he was pulling out like traumas that happened to me in middle school. But this, this did a really good job of giving my skin this kind of glowy feel. And I did it on my nose when I did it. I didn't do it on my whole face. I did it on like my nose and my T-zone. So I really felt like it kind of like just brightened that area. And I was like, actually this one probably would be a good one to do on my full face just because um, of what it's doing. It wasn't, I was doing it more trying to get in there and rip the pores out. And it just, like I said, I really didn't feel like that was what it, it did for me. Not that it didn't do it at all, but just that it wasn't as, as deep as I've seen other ones, but it did such a nice job of giving me that like kind of like dewy glowy skin feel and, and look to it as well. So definitely like this one. I'm definitely excited to see what it's gonna do my full face. That is done with skincare. So I've only got a couple uh, makeup products this month to talk about. Two concealers, a highlighter, and then a liquid eyeshadow. And the two concealers are the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I actually saw this on TikTok and somebody said it was a dupe for Shape Tape. I picked it up a while ago and then I just kind of forgot about it and I pulled it out and I was like, I'm, I'm gonna start using this. And at first I was kind of like, 
it's good, but is it a dupe for Shape Tape? The more I use it, the more I'm like, it's pretty damn close. Like it's, is it obviously the same formula? No, it's not. It's not going to be. They're different companies and they're creating a different, you know, product. But this is very close to it and it's a fraction of the price. It's like $7.99, I think, full price. And of course, Tarte Shape Tape is $27. So I highly recommend looking into this if you're looking for a really good concealer. There's other affordable ones that I like and I can definitely, if you guys are curious about them, I can definitely um, talk about them. I, I think I've talked about them in the past anyway, but I really, really like this one a lot. I was very surprised at how much I liked it. So yes. And then the next one I have, I was shocked. I did not expect to like this one. I, not at and not that I expected to hate it. I just have a love hate relationship with Too Faced. And so I was like, I'm not sure about this one. Blown away by it. So seamless, gorgeous. In fact, I used it in a video. I think it, it might've been the one. Yes, it was the one where I talked about HH Holmes. So I did a review of the Ipsy and I used a couple BoxyCharm products from that month. So I, I got this in my BoxyCharm. It was my choice product. It is so seamless. And in that video, I felt like my skin looked so pretty. And it was because of this. I really was just, I feel like you can use this as a foundation. It's a, it's a really big, it almost looks like a foundation. Like that's, it's a concealer, but like look how fat it is. He looks more like a foundation bottle, but I highly recommend looking into it. I, it's the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. I got it in the shade Pearl. And the one that um, I have in my CoverGirl is the shade L150 Porcelain. So, you know, pale as fuck, cause that's who I am. Sorry, Nikki, you're gonna have to quack that out. And the next thing I have is the Concha Highlighter from Glam Light that I got in the Mexico. I throwed it. In the Mexico Foodie Box. It is actually the highlighter I'm wearing on my face right now. It is this beautiful pearlescent pink purple, very light though. Not at all like a crazy color. I feel like even if you're somebody who's kind of hesitant to use like bright colored highlighters, this is still something that you can get use out of. Gorgeous packaging, because Glam Light just has gorgeous packaging in general. And I was really excited about it. I hadn't tried any. I know I don't actually don't know if they had done a lot of highlighters before this, um, but I hadn't tried a highlighter from them. And I got this one. And then I also got the donut palette that has a highlight shade in the center. And I was blown away by both of them. So definitely recommend that one. Final thing. This guy came in my Glow Addict beauty box last month. People really kind of dragged the last month beauty box. They said it was a lot of stuff that was really cheap and chintzy. Alexandria Ryan hated it. I didn't hate it as much and I didn't hate it as much because you have to understand that this is a, an indie brand. It's much smaller. They don't have the connections that Ipsy and BoxyCharm have. They don't have the customer base that Ipsy and BoxyCharm have. And I think they gave us decent stuff. You kind of have to look at the company too. You have to be sympathetic as to like the circumstances as well. I think at least I am. That's why I'm not as hard as, as I am on BoxyCharm and Ipsy because BoxyCharm and Ipsy really have created this powerhouse in the beauty subscription box industry. So it's, that's why I'm a little bit more critical of the products that they send us. Doesn't make it right. That's just my logic behind it. This is hands down though, the best liquid eyeshadow I've ever used. It is so thick. It applies gorgeously. It's this beautiful color. In fact, it was so damn thick going on that I actually had to take a, a brush and blend it out, which I normally don't do when I use liquid eyeshadows. Gorgeous deep pink color. I absolutely loved it. The whole day I was like, I, I, it stuck. It stayed in place. It wasn't heavy. It wasn't chunky. It applied smoothly, but it came out so thick and luxurious and just, I didn't have to go back over. Like a lot of times you'll have to go like kind of, you know, do the dab where you kind of touch up areas where it didn't quite apply quite as well as you were hoping it to. It, what am I trying to say? I didn't have to go and fix any areas where it didn't apply as well as I was hoping it would. That's what I was trying to say. But yeah, so this is the, I think it's Steb, S-T-E-B. That's what it looks like. Kind of like weird lettering. Yeah. Um, Shining Eyes Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is the shade, I think it's the shade Girls Night. Yeah, we're gonna go with Girls Night. Loved it. I really did. I was really shocked at how well I liked that. Um, and I'm somebody who buys and likes uh, glitter eyeshadows quite a bit. So, all right, that's all the products I have for you guys this time. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I rambled a lot. I talked a lot about weird things because I always do that and I'm tired right now. So <laughs> yeah, if you liked the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, have any, any comments or questions, leave those down below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I know I already said that, but like maybe do it. All right, other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day and you stay girly with your dark twist.